good morning. Welcome, welcome to uh, the April 2nd, week of April 2nd, uh, Hiking for Health update. Uh, should be a quick one. Um, number one, as usual, the weight loss update. One pound this week. Um, yeah, I kind of hit a couple of things a little heavy. And uh, it was fun. But at the same time, yeah, that... that I think that cost me, but on the bright side, still a loss. Uh, it, it, you know, I mean, uh, I, I'm shooting for about two pounds a week because I've always been told, and if I lose more, it's not that big of a deal, of course. <clears throat> but I've always been told that that's kind of a healthy weight loss that gives your body a chance to, to do its thing and 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 all that kind of stuff. And so you're not supposed to lose too fast. Um, so two pounds a week is what I shoot for. This week I lost one. Um, that's that's you know still half of what I'm looking for so that's not bad um, so yeah one pound loss that uh, is a total of 19.6 pounds since we started um, so I am now at two checking my notes 285.4 pounds um, that's not too bad I mean we're, we're getting there considering I started above 300 um, hey I'm going in the right direction and even if it's a pound at a time, eh, hey, I'm, I'm going in the right direction. So we got that. Um, trying to think of anything else. Really, there, I'm going to be, uh, and I kind of put it out there for you. If, if you have any suggestions for some other videos you want me to do, uh, or places you think I should go hiking here in Northern California and things like that, I'm going to be, next time I'll, I'll put out a list of places I plan to go. Um, but Hiking for Health California, Hiking for Health CA uh, at gmail.com. You, uh, you can get a hold of me there or leave comments below the video or get a hold of me on the uh, um, Facebook page, Hiking for Health California. So um, you can do that. If any kind of suggestions, I don't mind interaction whatsoever. Uh, let me know, uh, anybody who happens to be watching, what you think. Uh, also on Instagram, Hiking for Health California. Um, and California, C-A, not spelled out. <clears throat> so anyway, so we got that down. We are just shy of 20 pounds lost, so I'm, I'm happy with that. It's, it's a good progress. Uh, I finally I have it penciled in on the calendar. I will actually be doing another out there hike, and not an urban hike either. Um, April 11th, I will be going to the San Joaquin River National Wildlife Reserve. That is about, I want to say, 40 minutes drive south of where I live, um, down towards, you know, the Central Valley there. Um, and supposedly it's, it's got some, some cool stuff to see. It's, it's uh, part wetlands and around the river and stuff like that. And um, uh, Quite a bit of wildlife, including tule elk, and for those who don't know this area, tule elk used to be all over the place around here, and now they are an endangered species and only found on a few uh, wilderness preserves like the one I'm going to go to. Um, you can't find them anywhere else, and they used to just blanket this valley amongst the oaks and the wetlands and stuff like that. Um, so that's going to be kind of neat if I can see some of those, uh, but the hike Sounds like the trail is approximately a four-mile trail plus possibly another one that goes out to a, a, a wildlife observation deck. So somewhere around four miles, maybe a little bit more worth of a hike. Of course, I'll be bringing the camera and I'll be uh, recording that, uh, so you'll get a, a uh, you'll get a day hike report trip out of that. And um, the other thing I'm going to be scouting out while I'm down there is, according to some of the maps I have and information I have, is you've got that particular National Wildlife Refuge sitting there, but almost connected to it is also the Grasslands State Park. So I'm going to kind of scout that out, and if that turns into a hiking opportunity, I may go ahead and take it. Otherwise, that will be a future hiking opportunity, just going back down there. But there are several little spots all in that same area. There's a, a, a National Wildlife Reserve. I think that there's a national something else there. You know, basically some kind of federal land or park. And then there's the state, excuse me, the state uh, uh, grasslands park. 
So a lot of interesting things there. Um, I'm going to zip down there in the morning, do a hike, and then try and be back home by the afternoon. Um, so I may not be able to get to everything, but I'll try and scout the area out at least uh, for possible future trips. Because like I say, if it's only a 30-40 minute drive down there, um, that's that's not bad at all. That, that's, that's reasonable. That's within the range that I look for. I tried to keep a circumference. Right now, for starting out, tried to keep within 60 minutes of a drive. Because I can get up in the morning, I can drive an hour and get someplace, do a couple hours worth of hiking, get back in time for the afternoon when family stuff starts going on and and also right now because I'm retired I'm doing a lot of the dinners and stuff like that and so I need to be home in time to start that although the crock pot helps with that too because I can start that in the morning and it'll be ready at night so um, so that that's that's one of the big things coming up uh, like I say April 11th I actually have it penciled on the calendar to make sure I have a vehicle available to me on that day um, and I think that's the biggest stuff really to, to go with it's you know it's getting to be that season now and uh and uh it's hiking season the weather's been really nice although we might get a little rain this weekend we'll see this last weekend was fantastic i ended up not getting out hiking but i did get out into the garden and do a bunch of stuff there <clears throat> so um you'll start seeing hopefully a little more or a lot more um other stuff on the channel you've already seen a couple more you know i've posted uh, a road trip video. I've almost got, I know I promised it this uh, uh, last week, this week for sure, uh, I've got the uh, day hike report on uh, Indian Grinding Rock State Park. Uh, I have all that footage all laid out and ready to go. I've just got to do a quick voiceover because that was one where I wasn't able to do commentary as I'm hiking. Because um, I was hiking with my son and I was kind of talking with him and having having a really good time with my son and and, and and just walking with him and we had a, a nice discussion so I didn't have time to do commentary as I'm walking uh, for that one so I'll do a little quick blurb on the park and stuff because um, it was a quick it was a little hike it was it was like right around a mile so a quick little day hike it was fun uh, but you'll get that uh, this week all the footage is laid out I just gotta do the voiceover um, and I still have to do the road trip for Castle Air Museum but although that wasn't a hike, that was still an almost two mile uh, walk through the, because it's an outdoor air museum. And it's, it's interesting. Um, that's a road trip video, not a hike video. Um, but I think those are interesting too. That's why I've incorporated those in my, um, in my channel. Um, I know it's called Hiking for Health, and that is the main impetus, is, is losing weight and getting out there hiking. But there are a lot of other interesting things to see in my area and especially in, in just Northern California, let alone the rest of the California and stuff. And we will be expanding beyond the, the state borders now and then, I, I guarantee it. Um, but there's roadside attractions and all kinds of other neat things to see out there. And I think that should be part of a healthy lifestyle that you just get out. Get out of your house and go see some stuff, go do some things. If you're not into hiking into the mountains, fine, then don't hike into the mountains. Um, but what's wrong with uh, going down to a neat air museum and taking a walk around seeing that? If you're not into that kind of history or, or aircraft or things like that, then find something else. That I mean, there's stuff out there. Just get out of your house and do it. Um, that, that's one of the big messages that I'd like to pass on. Just come on now. Um, but really, that's about it. So I owe you guys a couple more uh, videos. Um, um, one day hike, uh, one road trip. Here's the latest update, uh, one more pound lost, so we're just shy of 20 pounds lost, and that's about it. We've got a, a rather larger hike coming up pretty soon, next week, I'll be filming that and then getting the footage out. Uh, when I do the next update, I probably won't have, because I usually I'll film these either on Monday or Tuesdays, it's a Monday right now when I'm filming. <clears throat> next week, I plan the hike on a Tuesday, so I will probably film my update on Monday, so I won't have gone yet. Eh, that's how it goes. Um, but uh, I will keep you guys updated on that. But hey, you know what? Thanks for watching. Again, the channel will uh, soon be a lot more than me just sitting here talking uh, at the camera. Um, you know, I, I, I do this once a week, but because it kind of keeps me going and keeps me motivated, I gotta you know watch my weight because I want to have good news every time I sit in front of this camera. Uh, I want to. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but for the most part, 
I would like it also to be a little bit more entertaining, and so I'm going to be getting out there more places and getting that on film. And whether it's a road trip or a hike or hopefully sometime this summer an actual full backpack trip, uh, we'll be getting that out there. And if that kind of stuff interests you, hey, thanks for sticking around. So we will see you next week, and thanks so much for your support.